I am trying to record our journey with Justin's health and um, somehow one of my YouTube videos about his trip to the dermatologist in Toronto got deleted but um, as it stands now Justin is on a new medication Astetretin which is like um, a scary thing <laughs> um, but uh, there is good hope that it will help him with the psoriasis um, today we go to see the auntie I am extremely anxious. I'm not nervous, but I'm like, I'm shaking. I'm shaking because I want this to go well. I want them to understand what I'm there for um, and why I've pushed hard for it. Um, the dermatologist had recommended that we see an ENT. The orthodontist that we went to for Justin's bite said you need to see an ENT. <laughs> we went to our family doctor about Justin's hearing and he said oh well let's send you to an ENT. So three doctors, orthodontist, pediatric dermatologist who's I mean she's a pediatrician she's not just a dermatologist she's a doctor and our family doctor have all said ENT. So we're going to see a, a, a local ENT um, who has been practicing in Aurelia for a long time. I've heard good things about him, um, but I've never met him. And I actually had to fight for the appointment because they had it as a referral for his hearing and they were booking into April. <laughs> I had to call them and be like, no, you have to see me sooner than that. You have to bring us in sooner than that. And they said, well, it's a hearing test. Our audiologist, audio, audiologist, I think that's how you say it, um, is booked until April. And I said, a hearing test? We are not coming for a hearing test. We are coming because this boy doesn't sleep at night. He, he snores so loud, we can hear him through the walls. And he has interruptions in his breathing. So as an infant, he had infant apnea is what they called it. They thought he would grow out of it. He obviously hasn't. And I didn't realize that it was still so severe until a few months ago when I went in and he had, I went in to check on his brother and he stopped breathing while I was in there. And I was like, what the heck is happening? He's not breathing. And then he started breathing again and then he stopped. And it was so scary. And since then I have had um, people send me information about sleep disorders in children and then how it affects their behavior and their school and their health. And man, I read this one post by a woman who she had as an eight-year-old son. He's the same age as Justin. And they described his health, his um, school tr challenges, his behaviors. And it was like she was secretly recording our family and writing about us. So I'm very nervous about it not going the way I hope, but I'm also trying to trust that God has it in hand. And I know there's a ton of people praying for us. And I'm really grateful for that. I'm just tired. I'm really tired. I don't, I will fight for Justin for the rest of my life if I have to. I will fight for my kids. I will fight for my husband. I feel like that's my job. That's my job is to advocate for my family, to protect them, to encourage them, to help them grow into being well-rounded adults who treat others with respect and live life to the fullest but I'm really tired and I just, I need help. I need, I need people to help me. I need professionals to help us. So, um, <laughs> so thank you for praying and I will keep you guys updated. 
hopefully I will be able to make a video after this, after um, we go to the appointment. It's at 1 o'clock today, and um, I, I got to get the truck cleared off and get it warmed up because I got to go get Jess and, from school. <sighs> yeah, that's where we're at, and... Um, I'm losing my train of thought, so I should go. But yeah, please pray for us. That's where we're, what we're doing today. And um, I hope that this is a, like a, a good Christmas present. Like, happy Christmas. We're going to take your adenoids out <laughs> or something like that. Because we think it might be as adenoids. Um, but yeah, please pray for us today at 1 o'clock. Pray for us now. I'm, I'm anxious, very anxious. And I have to drive and it's winter and it sucks and I don't want to be distracted. I want to be focused and I want to be able to do what I need to do for him. All right. Love you guys. I'll talk to you soon.